G'day folks, I've decided to try something different. For years and years I've worn gumboots and I will continue to wear gumboots because they're great protection from snakes. But if I go kayaking on a lake when the water's cold, I don't want to wear gumboots in case I fall over and my boots fill up with water. So I've gone out and I've bought myself some seal skins, some 100% waterproof socks. I've never used them before. Today I'm going to test them out and see how they go. Righty, hey folks. They say that seal skins are 100% waterproof. Now is the time to test that theory and find out whether it's true or not. Here they are. Here. There's my seal skins. In the inside, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a funny sort of a texture. You can hear them. I'm going to pull them up. They feel like normal socks. These shoes, and it's have a. Uh, an old pair of Rivers shoes, cheap Rivers shoes. I think I paid 20 or 30 bucks. They are absolutely not waterproof at all. Now these socks are meant to be 100% waterproof. Current temperature here where I am is about 10 or 11 degrees. It's not bitterly cold, but it's cool. And so will the water be. These shoes will let the water in straight away. Let's see how they go. Have I got wet feet? No, I cannot feel any water. What about now? This is so bizarre. Wow! I can feel the cold. I can feel the cold water, but my feet are dry. <laughs> I'm not joking, my feet are not wet at all. There is no... My feet are they're cold, I can feel the cold water. But they're not like bitterly cold, That's gets a comfortable sort of a cold. It's a really bizarre feeling. But my feet feel dry. They, it's... It's actually quite incredible. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I go over the top of the sock. Oh, I can feel the cold. I can feel the cold on my legs. My legs here feel much colder than what my feet do. My feet feel just sort of normal. No different than if I was just walking across a paddock. This is so amazing. This video is in no way sponsored. I'm not sure how wet my oh, my feet are feeling a little bit cold now. I think I, I think I might have got a bit of water in the sock then. I can feel a bit of really cold water making its way down around my ankles. So it would appear that these socks are waterproof if you don't go over the top of the sock, like gumboots perhaps. I can feel like they're getting water in them now, and I think it's because I got too deep. This video is in no way sponsored. I just thought it would be something really cool to share with you guys if it's successful. The reason I bought these socks, these seal skins, and they were 50 bucks on Amazon, mostly I wanted them for kayaking because I like to wear socks in my kayak in winter so that my feet don't get too cold. In the summer I wear bare feet, no worries at all. In the autumn and the winter it gets a bit cold, so I thought I want to wear socks, but wet socks aren't going to do much good for me, so I'll wear waterproof socks. Now, the way I just, from what I just saw then walking in the water, they should work very, very well for that. They should also work very, very well for walking through wet paddocks, walking through the bush when you're hiking or hunting or anything. I don't know that they'll be good if you're going to be wet wading because the water may get down through the top of the sock. That's the very first impression. I'm going fishing with Holly now for a couple of hours. We're going to be doing a little bit of wading and trying some different spots. I'll get back to you with a bit more conclusive uh, instruction. But for now, I'm very impressed with these seal skins. They, uh, they serve their purpose very well. Right. Now go and put them to their test properly, and I'll get back to you with the result later on. Righty, hey folks. Now Holly and I have been fishing for a couple of hours across a few different waterways. How did the seal skins stack up? Well, they're quite good. I'm really, really impressed. They've got pros and cons. Now this is only early stages. I've only worn them today for the first time, so they haven't had a huge amount of use. The biggest downfall that I've found with them is that if you're getting water over the top of the sock, the water will get down the sock. So you've got to treat them a bit like gumboots. Don't go too deep. But the upside of that is they're ideal for river crossings. You can walk through as long as the water doesn't get over the top of the sock, your feet stay dry. I think they're 
best use will be in hunting, hunting on wet ground, farming, walking through wet ground, wading up streams that are really shallow and you don't have to wet wade too much, kayaking, which is what I bought them for, I think they'll be ideal. They're going to be ideal for getting your feet wet, but not so much wet, wet wading in deep water. But one real positive that I found out with the seal skins, even when they're wet, they're really easy to put back on. Anybody who's tried to put a pair of wet socks on their feet will tell you how hard it is. But the seal skins actually came off and on easy because when I first put them in, the water got up over the top and they got wet. I managed to dry them quite thoroughly under the heater of my car, had the heat setting on feet at a blaring full ball as we moved around from stream to stream. They dried quite well, but I can put them on and off and on and off several times today. Sometimes they were wet, sometimes they weren't, and they came on and off quite easily. That's a huge plus, as any trout fisherman will tell you. So folks, seal skins, I rate them highly. Great for lots of uses. Not so great if you're going to be wet wading in deep water. You might want to invest in some waders. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this uh, this video informative. And I will put a link below to where you can find the seal skins on Amazon because that's where I bought them. I'll see you in the next video.